Welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial on how to set up and reconcile credit card sub accounts. All right, this comes into play when you have a corporate credit card. So the business has a credit card, but then uh, individual employees may have uh, an account that is tied to that main corporate account. And you want to be able to enter and reconcile all the credit card transactions for the individual employees but there are certain ways that you have to reconcile that account and then pay that bill. And I wanna walk through how to do that in this video. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna to go to the chart of accounts, all right? So I have set up over here an American Express, all right? So this is just a credit card account set up in the chart of accounts, it's got a zero balance. All right, so we have this corporate American Express and let's say that we have uh, two employees that have cards, all right? And so what we wanna do is we want to set up a new account, all right? And you can, this will be a credit card account. We're gonna click continue. Uh, you would put in the number. So let's go over here and look at our chart of accounts. So this is 2660. So I wanna keep with the numbering. We'll say this is 2661 since it's gonna be a sub account. And this is gonna be, let's say John, Wilson. Okay, so this is John Wilson. He's a, an employee. We're going to say this is a sub account of American Express. Okay, so let's do another one here. So we'll say this is 2662 and this is Beth uh, Smith. Okay, all right, so again, this is a sub account of the American Express. Okay, so we hit save and close. All right, we're gonna click no on that. All right, so we have our two accounts. I'm gonna order this just because I like it in order with the numbers. So we have our two sub accounts of American Express. All right, so on our statement each month, we're gonna get one main corporate statement uh, that shows the activity for John Wilson and Beth Smith. And if you have a, a corporate aspect or a owner name, you're gonna have multiple accounts underneath here, okay? And all of these accounts feed up to the main account. So I wanna show you when we go to enter credit card charges, uh, what that looks like. So whether you download the charges or you enter them individually, it really doesn't matter. They're gonna feed up to this main corporate account. All right, so let's go ahead and enter a couple transactions. All right, so we wanna choose. Now you gotta make sure that you choose. Okay, so this one is for John, uh, John Wilson. All right, so we're gonna say that he purchased uh, something from Chuck E. Cheese. We've got open purchase orders. In this case, we're gonna say no, okay. You put in a reference number if you have one. And we're gonna say this was $22 even, okay? Okay, so you're gonna choose the account. Uh, let's say, let's just say it's shareholder distributions. This might've been a personal charge. Um, that's another whole nother video topic uh, that I do have videos on. Okay, we're gonna say save and new. We're gonna save anyway. So let's say that he makes another purchase at Amazon. And this is for office supplies. Okay, we'll say office supplies. Um, I'll go ahead and put a class in here so that I don't get the alert. All right, so save and close. John Wilson, we entered his charges now. Let's say Beth Smith, we need to go and enter her charges for the month. Okay, so we're gonna say uh, Beth Smith had one charge to Amazon, since that's an easy vendor to use here, and we'll say 285, okay? And again, this is gonna be office supplies, and we're gonna put it to our class overhead. Save and close, okay. So now you see here, if you look in your chart of accounts, you're gonna see we've got uh, Beth, her charges, 285 and John's 147 and they combine to 432. All right, so if I double click on this American Express account, you can see here all the charges that come up to this main account. All right, now here's the kicker. All right, at the end of the month, uh, we're going to assume in this situation that we're gonna pay off this credit card bill. All right, so you don't need to reconcile each individual bill because they all come up to American Express. Typically, you're gonna get one bill and this one main corporate account is gonna break out charges between John and Beth or all your employees. 
So when you get the bill, you want to reconcile just the main corporate account. All right. So if I go to banking, I go to reconcile. You want to make sure you choose the main corporate account. And in this case, the ending balance is 432. We're going to click OK. All right. I have a password on a previous reconciliation. OK, so we have our charges here. We go to reconcile just like normal. You're going to check off. So all these charges are showing up on the main corporate account reconciliation screen. So I click these. I click reconcile now. And again, that's covered in another video. Okay, so now you get to this screen, you say enter a bill for payment later or write a check for payment now. All right, we're gonna, so for this example, you can do either one. You know, if you're, if you're doing a minimum payment, if you're doing write a check for payment now, uh, et cetera, we're gonna say write a check for payment now. We're gonna click okay. Okay, I'm gonna click close on my reconciliation reports. Okay, so pay to the order of, because I do not have this set up as a vendor. Let me set them up. Okay, this is a quick ad vendor. Okay, American Express. So we're, let's say we're paying this full balance of 432. Okay, now here is the key to clear out these balances. All right, if I, over here, just say write checks and say to American Express Corporate 432, it's going to clear out this balance right here. If, however, I want to clear out these balances, which is really what I want to do, all right, you have to allocate this payment between the two accounts. All right, so you want to say John Wilson, his balance 147. Okay, so you want to type in 147. And then down here, we want to put the other American Express for Beth. Let me find it in my accounts here. And this is 285. Okay, so you want to allocate that payment between the two. Now, if you're making a minimum payment, it gets a little bit tricky because you have to somehow allocate this between the two accounts. Okay, now there is not a great way to allocate that minimum payment because it's not necessarily going to one or the other. And so you can really allocate it how you want to. This is generally going to be effective for when you're paying off this balance. Okay. Now, when you do eventually pay off your balance, uh, you know, you want to make sure that you zero out these sub accounts. Okay. These two right here. All right. So in this case, we're assuming we're paying off the balance. You want to allocate it between the two. If you just do it to the corporate account, it will not clear out those balances for the individual employees. All right. So we hit save and close. I'm going to hit save anyway. Okay. So now you can see we have zeroed out these two balances for these individuals. And then the main corporate account is zero. All right. Now, the important thing, again, if you're just making a minimum payment and not paying off the full balance, you really can allocate it how you want between the two. You can do it to one. You can do it to the other. You can do it to both. The important thing to remember is that when you eventually pay it off, you want to allocate those payments in full to zero out these balances. That way, you will show zero balance for the individuals, and you will show a zero balance for the main corporate account. Okay? Any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave a comment below. Uh, also, head over to the QuickBooks University, answer, answer your personal questions. This question actually came up from a member, and uh, so this was a fantastic question, and these are the types of things that I answer for the members individually for their situation. So head over there, become a member, qbuniversity.org.